going to be slowing things down, I guess. Hello, everybody, this is Bloody Sword here, yet again with another StarCraft 2 replay loss analysis video. I don't even know what number this one is. But it is going to be played on Whirlwind in a TVZ, and at that. Um, it's just going to be me losing to some very, very solid Zerg play, and I'm going to see what I could have been doing better. It felt like he just had, like, way too many units for me to deal with, and I didn't really properly know how to adjust, or I didn't build enough barracks or something. So we're going to be checking out why I lost this game together. I'm going to be building my barracks on 15, going to be throwing down my, what's it called, refinery at 16 as well. I checked over here to see if he had an overlord coming from this direction, so I would know to scout like over here, but since there was no overlord, I'm going to be, when I do scout, going to be going probably down bottom right and then over here. So there's a drone harassing my building command center on the low ground. Not much I can do about that, so I'm just going to be pulling an SCV down there. And I need to just make him cancel building the command center for now, because the drone is quite annoying. And I'm just going to be repairing the SCV. Maybe. Right clicking is very bad. And then, I'm going to be morphing my orbitals up here. Not sure if I should be trying to snipe this overlord in transit, but there's actually no way to know where these overlords are going to be going, so I think that's fine. There's no knowledge <coughs> of what he's doing right now, so building a bunker I feel is necessary. I didn't scout at three minutes, so I think that's... But actually, you know what? That's a mistake. I should be scouting earlier. If he had, like, a Zergling Banely Golan off of two base, I could be dead right now. Zergling speed, I think, earliest could finish at around five minutes, 30 seconds... Or five minutes, forty-five seconds to six minutes ish. But oh, my sounds are actually quite loud. Sounds. Okay. But yeah. So I the late scout like this is quite bad. I'm going to be filling, finishing off this wall in uh, by six minutes. So that's okay. But uh, I should be doing that a little bit earlier. I'm going to be using my Hellions to just check out my third bases. I'm going to be checking around and scouting for the random Zerglings, and I was able to actually pick off all of them, luckily. That was quite nice on my part. And there goes another Zergling. I'm going to be checking into the timing of his third base. He's actually taking his third base over here, not down here. And I think that more Zerg players should do that, because if you take your third base right here, then it's very, very easy for the Terran player to just go back and forth between the main base and the uh, third base while dropping. So this guy knows his crap. His, he knows his heat. It's good. So I'm going to be trying to deny certain things with uh, these Hellions. I could be running over here, I guess, and trying to pick off a couple of drones, but he has a lot of Zerglings and I don't have confidence in my ability to micro against that many. He takes the watchtower again, and I misclicked a little bit right here. I should have the watchtower. And combat shields starting, getting plus one, have the starport down, but I'm not producing anything. I have a medevac. Do I have two medevacs? Or did I only produce one? Because that's a mistake as well. Yeah, okay, so I only have one medevac, which could have been two. Mm, so I guess I just think like another small mistake by me. Do I have my third base on the way? It should be done by this point. I'm not producing actually from my barracks, which is another mistake, but I'm busy microing right now. Should be burrowing both widow mines, slowly creeping up with the widow mines. Right now, it's these widow mines really aren't doing too much. And I, the one of the widow mines actually did quite more damage to my own units than it did his. When I stim up a marine, <laughs> it only has 35 HP without combat shields. It, the splash damage from the widow mine actually kills all my stemmed marines so I'm not sure if I should have waited for combat shields probably and the positioning of this attack was actually quite bad because he has a lot of creeps spread right here I scouted that out earlier with my hellions if I put like attacked from this direction I could have placed widow mines in this small little choke point and been a little bit more annoying as well I'm pretty sure. So positioning of that attack, probably not the best. 
I might have been able to throw a bunch of my units in the other medevac if I had one and throwing it as a little drop. This this is completely pointless. I should just bring this medevac back. There's too much risk and not enough reward for this drop. Losing the medevac is very, very bad, and these two units are not going to be able to do too much at all, really. So, um, yeah, just going to have to lift. I think I actually used both units, and that could have been more damage later in the game as well. So another mistake by me. I have a lot of workers over here. I still haven't established my third base, and I'm just now lifting it off. I'm pretty sure that it was complete quite a bit ago. And he also burrowed a zergling, so I'm not going to be able to land that. And I have a bunch of SCVs just uh, mining. It's giving me extra income, but not as much as it could be. So I don't realize this until later. I scan it, pick it off with SCVs. Another mistake by me, I let this counterattack do way too much damage. It killed off... How many workers did that actually kill off? I think that killed off 10 workers. <laughs> Just from like a handful of wings. That was like 5, 6 wings. So I need to be building the supply depot, supply depot, um, bunker supply depot once I establish this third base or before I establish it. The taking my third base was quite slow as well. Plus 2 attack, probably delayed a little bit. And plus to armor is definitely delayed a lot. So he is up uh, 40 supply-ish. Not looking good for me. I'm going to be doing a little drop and a little bit of pressure. Again, this attack at the front not going to be doing a lot of damage. I get a bunch of nice Widowmine hits off, but that's actually not going to help me out. And my two-pronged attack was really just a one-pronged attack with another one-pronged attack. and then. I kill off a couple of mutilists, but then the rest of the mutilists show up. Then a spore crawler does a little bit of damage, and then my medevac dies. So, when I go for these two pronged attacks, I need to make sure that I'm actually um, doing a two pronged attack. Mm, the positioning again of this attack, quite poor. Should be going from. It's just. I try and queue up the movement of the medevac to go around all the vision and uh, definitely around the creep so it avoids the spore crawlers and makes it easier to micro but I should just be constantly looking at the drops and just making sure or even waiting for this attack to go and getting the drop in position first probably so unit stab I have 83 workers. That is definitely a mistake. I only need 66. I should be sacking workers at this point. I don't need this many. I guess I could like establish a fourth, but he has another bird circling over here as well. And so I micro my little heart out, do a little bit of splitting, and um, that's that. He kills off everything. And burrowed freaking banelings. Bur these burrowed banelings do so well for him. And I do a little bit of fancy splitting here. I kill off s most of his units, and with my reinforcements, I eventually clear up everything. It's going to be doing a uh, counterattack to my third base. I'm just going to repair it up. So it's not going to die yet. It will die eventually in this game. And then I was like, oh yeah, I should probably wall this off. So there goes the wall in. <laughs> very, very delayed. Need to really think about counterattacks. And with all of this like this, I should rally all my units to the front of this base. Leaves me vulnerable to mutilists in my main base, so I need to throw down more turrets, especially around my production, to protect the reactors especially. Um, I, I mean, like, what else am I doing with this 1300 gold? And, wait, is the Burrow Band Link hit gonna- nope, he didn't. Wait, is he- oh yeah, he did. Yeah, there goes all the units. So, Burrow Band Link's pretty good. Pretty good. And... I have a, I have a quite a bit of production. Not a whole lot of units building out of the production, and don't even have reactors on those yet. Kills off what well, whatever was building or trying to do anything over there. And at this point, I'm still like 30 supply behind him. I have a bunch of just resources banked up for no god reason, given reason. And I'm going to be stimming, picking off all the units, 
I don't think I actually needed to stem all of those units. And there goes the counterattack to my third base. So, what's cool is that I'm really bad, and he's better than me. So what he does is he throws a couple of bane links. I can't I even see it in all this mess. And then I run up the ramp, and he kills my entire army. And then I lose. So, I don't know how I'm supposed to be dealing with these burrowed bailings. I obviously could have seen that one. The one right here, I definitely couldn't have seen. So, I, I think later in the game, I need to incorporate ravens. Burrowed bailings are ridiculously good, but uh, most players don't seem to be using them. Except for this guy. This guy used burrow to its full almost its full potential really I don't know it seemed like it anyway burrowed bailing is pretty good so things to note from this game uh, plus two armor uh, medevac production was pretty late too I had a bunch of factories that's kinda cool I need to wall this off a little bit faster rally units over here make sure that my two pronged attacks are actually two pronged and not one over here and one over there and I think that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will bring out some more later.